Happy Saturday from the Stagecoach RV Park in beautiful St. Augustine, Florida. Andrea and I are going to do a little walkthrough of the park for you, as we usually do, as we visit one park to another. And as always, I always ask her first, you know, what her what she, her, her initial impressions are of the park. Um, this park is really nice. They don't have a lot of amenities, but it's just it's just small, but it's really nice, and every lot seems to be shaded. But the basic um, amenities they have, um, it's like the bathroom, it's a good size bathroom and it's really clean. They have pool hookups and they have cable and Wi-Fi. I think that comes with your kit. Yeah. And one thing Andrea was mentioning to me when we were having coffee earlier is that this is kind of, for us, the sweet spot of an RV type park. It's not really commercial with all kinds of people and it's huge and and also uh, and it also doesn't have an overwhelming number of full-time residents and things like that it's uh it's really nice it's kind of country-ish but it has what amenities it does have is really nice like she mentioned the the, the laundry room and, and the bathhouse very nice very spacious very neat very clean and we checked in yesterday to the park and we got in early enough uh, so that Andrea and the kids, we discovered just, just over a mile from here, I think, is a huge, huge outlet store strip mall. I mean, it's huge. We spent quite a while there. The kids did back to school shopping, happy as can be, and we only covered maybe half of this, the, the outlets. So if you have shoppers in your family that are traveling along, this is a good location for you because you can go right from a quiet little park to, you know, the shopping capital of the world. <laughs> I think it's close to Orlando. Yeah, not too far from Orlando. I wish, yeah, this is quite accessible to Orlando. I'm not sure if it's Route 4 that goes across from 95, but really not too bad from Orlando. And we're about an hour south of Jacksonville to kind of place St. Augustine. Today's plan is to go into the old part of St. Augustine, and it's supposedly the oldest city in the United States. So we're going to check that out for ourselves and get the kids moving. And uh, so we're going to sign off, give you the walkthrough now. Hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you all on the road. It is a beautiful Saturday morning, August 7th, 2021, and we are standing at the entrance of the Stagecoach RV Park in St. Augustine, Florida. I'm going to do a little walkthrough with Andrea. We arrived yesterday afternoon and we're pleased uh, with the park. Here's a little shot as we, I'm actually walking in the exit, but here's a little picture of the park office. They have a sitting area, a little library area. I think they have some bathrooms in there for the guests at the office. Limited store, uh, but welcoming but limited. Uh, not a lot of items in there. They do have firewood. Uh, some electrical supplies and beverages and whatnot. On the left, propane filling station. On the way out, there's the uh, dumpster. Okay, it's kind of a look of a little recreation area. The kids swing, volleyball net. It's like a basketball court in the background. So just a quick scan of the park. You'll notice there's lots of trees. And most all of the sites are pull-through, pull-through sites. Just kind of scan it right to left. There's Andrea sitting in the background. So I will go collect Andrea and then we'll walk through. Honey, how am I going to get you over this raging river? I'll meet you downstream. How's that? Oh, there's a little dog area. Dog having a couple dogs having a nice walk. All right, let's walk through. I'll just follow you, hun. Oh, no, you want me to go first? So, what did we notice first about the park? What do you think? A lot of shade. A lot of shade. Yeah, unlike some of the other parks that we've been to, this one has 
lot of beautiful trees throughout the park not just on the perimeter but throughout the park you can see a lot of beautiful trees and when you're down south and it's 90 95 degrees that's a bonus all of these sites to our knowledge like most sites down south are a full hookup all of your electrical options, water sewer, this site does provide cable TV and park internet and once again I forgot to ask the kids how the internet was before uh, before we did the walkthrough. Most of the time we're just relying on our own cellular connection. Uh, we'll see a couple things. Check-in time at this park is uh, 2 p.m. in the afternoon. You can request early check-in. We actually showed up a coach running in the background. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but we actually showed up about an hour early and that was no problem at all. Looks like that's the first mate of the coach. But anyways, to get back to saying the check-in is 2 p.m. in the afternoon, uh, but you can check in early. Obviously, we showed up at 1 and they said, no, no, come right in. And checkout is 11 a.m. I believe, but I think for $10 you can check out an hour or two, three later. And if you stay past 2 p.m., I guess they charge you for another whole day. We noticed a lot of RV storage here at this park. Okay, so we come around, kind of coming around the rear of the park now. And there's our setup with a flag flying in the background. Site 37. Very easy drive through. Here is the ladies and men's room, shower facility, laundry facility. We'll do a, a quick walk through that in a moment. Okay. site. What's that, hon? I miss that. We've already had coffee hour. <laughs> Alex has already done her workout. So here's just another look at our site. Um, nice little area. I noticed they sold firewood up at the store, but I don't see a fire ring. I don't know whether you have to request one to be dropped off. Let me just take a quick peek around the rear of our site. Here's our hookup. I see no fire ring. Hmm. I'll have to look into that. From a distance, I thought, oh, that's my fi fire ring. No, that is not. That's this. Looks like a sewer clean out. So. Okay, again, there's more storage, RV storage. They seem to be doing a lot of. Let's just do a quick walk through of the uh, restroom shower area. There, I think we arrived with nobody else inside. So here's the entrance of the men's room. Nice and clean last night when I used it. It's a huge handicap accessible area. And they only have two showers here. Bench. But they're really nice, very clean. And there's a lock. And on the other side of that door is the laundry room. We'll go take a quick peek there. So, there's the men's room. Okay, here's the laundry room. Looks like we got one, two, three, four, five washers. And about six dryers. Folding table. Okay. 
so this is the very back of the park area and uh, this great big open field and they've got picnic tables I'm not sure what I'm looking at actually I mean, is this a small plane landing strip or something I'm not sure what this is I'll have to find out so here's another span of the park from the back side notice all the trees there we are there and there's the right side and again it seems like almost every single site here is a pull through site very convenient So we're approaching the back side of the office slash store. We'll take a quick peek inside. There aren't too many people inside. This door is blocked off, so this, everyone's just entering through the front. Now we're coming to the front. Okay, so here's the little store, front office. A few cool sodas. Stickers of the park. It's a front desk. A few novelty items and supplies. So it's a very small store selection. Local flyers for touring. A little library sitting area. Entrance. That's fake news. We're inside. <laughs> I'm all set. I'm just taking a peek through. So I just uh, just uh, spoke with the front end office employee, and there is only that one bathhouse, just that one in the park. Andrea and I were trying to figure out if they were seasonal full-time residents and it appears that uh, there are some and they were to the right side of the park as you come in they seem to all be on the right side returning to the center of the park now it's just one more look at a empty pull through site you can see there's plenty of room to pull in a coach and a tow vehicle no problem Okay, well thanks very much for doing a walkthrough of the Stagecoach RV Park in beautiful St. Augustine, Florida.